Welcome back to my channel, Matin Language, and we're going to tackle how to find the rate in simple interest feature value format. Now, before we start, we'd just like to clarify that the P for principal and PV for present value are the same lang. Parehas lang sila, okay? So, makikita nyo sa ibang textbook, nyikita nyo P yung ginagamit nila for principal and PV sa iba naman present value. They have the same naman. Okay, so for this video, we're going to use PV or the present value. And a refresher for the variables, FV means future value, I is the interest amount, P is for principal, PV is present value, and R is equal to rate, and P is time. So the formula for rate for future value simple interest format, we have R is equal to FV over PV, yung sagot niyan, mamayos ng 1, at yung pinakasagot sa numerator, di-divide natin ang denominator, which is the time. So, let's have the first example. Serenity deposited $5,000 to the bank and after 5 years, it grew to $7,500. What was the annual rate of the bank? So, nag-deposit daw si Serenity ng 5,000 dun sa banko. Tapos, after ng limang taon, naging 7,500 na siya. Magkano daw yung rate ng banko? So let's start by placing the formula. So pagkatapos na natin malagay yung formula, i-substitute na natin yung given. So we have, dun sa FB over PB, that's 7,500 over 5,000. Yung sagot niyan, ma-minus natin ng 1, that's for the numerator. For the denominator naman, since we have 5 years, so ang the denominator natin will be 5. Let's simplify it further. 7,500 over 5,000. Divide natin yan. At yung sagot, i-minus natin ng 1. That will be 0.5. Next, 0.5 divide mo ng 5. That will be 0.1. So, 0.1, ay yung decimal form. Again, for rate, we have to change it to percent sign. So, we multiply it by 100. Then add the percent sign. So 0.1 times 1 ng 100, that will be 10. And add the percent sign, you have 10%. So going back to the problem, Serenity deposited $5,000 to the bank. And after 5 years, it grew to 7500 Yung annual rate nito ng banko na yon ay 10%. So let's move to example number 2. Billy deposited $1,000 and got back an amount of $1,170 dollars and 83 cents after three years and five months find billy's interest rate okay for this one let's place the formula so next one is substitute na natin yung fv natin yung future value that will be 1170.83 ang present value in yung initial na deposit mo which is 1000 okay so pause yung sagot yan minus natin ng one over mo siya sa quantity na 3 plus 5 over 12. Bakit 3 plus 5 over 12? 3 years, di ba? Next naman, 5 over 12. Since ang time nakadepend sa year and ang given mo is 5 months. So that will be, there are 12 months in a year, di ba? So ang given mo ay 5 months, 5 over 12. So ang, ang denominator natin will be 3 plus 5 over 12. Okay, we can simplify first the denominator. So, 5 over 12, sa calculate mo, plus mo ng 3, ang sagot ay 3.416, repeating decimal. Kaya may bar ako dun sa taas ng 6. Okay, next one, simplify natin yung nasa numerator. 1170.83, divide mo ng 1000, so mag-move ka lang ng decimal, at i-minus mo ng 1. Ang sagot ay 0.17083. Okay? Ngayon, simplify it further, numerator, divide mo ng denominator, 0 0.17083, divide mo ng 3.416, repeating decimal, and you will have the answer of 0 0.0499, dot, dot, dot. So, may decimal pa yun. So, we multiply it by 100, and the answer is 4.99, tapos lagay mo yung percent sign as is 4.99 something. So, niround up ko na lang, that will be 
So, yung nag-deposit si Billy ng $1,000 at ang nakuha niya after 3 years and 5 months na 1170 ang interest rate ng bank is 5%. And let's move on to example number 3. Teddy deposited $10,000 and got back an amount of 10054 after 20 days. Find the interest rate. So, let's place the formula. And next one, we can now substitute it. So, ang future value natin ay 10,054.79. Remember, for pag future value, ting makukuha mo in the future. Kaya future value. So, present value or the principal, ting deposit mo muna. So, 10,054.79, divide mo ng 10,000. At yung sagot yan, minus natin ng 1. As a denominator naman, that will be 20 over 365. Bakit? There are 365 days in one year. And ang given mo ay 20 days lang. Kaya 20 over 365. Let's simplify the numerator. So sa calculator nyo, naging nyo 10,054.79 divided by 10,000. Yung sagot nyan, yung minus mo ng 1. And the answer is 0 0.005479. Let's simplify next the denominator. So, yung 20 over 365, ang sagot ay 0 0.0547952. Marami pa yan, kaso, inumit ko na. No, Simplify it further na, yung last na, that's 0 0.005479, divide mo ng 0 0.0547952, and the answer will be 0 0.09999. Okay? So, multiply natin siya ng 100 and add the percent sign. That will be 9.99%. Or, estimate na natin, that will be 10%. So, yung nag-deposit daw si Teddy ng $10,000 and after 20 days, naging 10,054.79 siya, ang interest rate ng banko ay 10%. So, let's have a mini quiz. Toasty deposited $5,000 and got back an amount of 5100 after 36 days. Find the ordinary interest rate. For ordinary interest rate, Gamitin nyo ay 360 days instead of 365. For 365 kasi is for exact. Or pag ordinary again, you have to use 360 days. So I'll give you 5 to 10 seconds and I will get back to you with the answer as well as the solution. Good luck. And the correct answer is 20%. Bakit? Paano naging 20%? So, let's place the formula and substitute the given. So, ang dineposit niya daw ay 5,000, naging 5,000 siya. So, that will be 5,000 minus mo ng 5,000. Yung sagot niya, minus mo ng 1. That will be the numerator part. So, denominator natin, ang sabi kasi ordinary interest rate. So, yung 36 days mo, magiging 36 over 360 instead of 365. Okay? Tingin ko pag ordinary interest rate, over mo siya ng 360, not 365. And moving on, let's simplify the numerator. 5,1 minus 1 ng 5,000. Yung sagot niyan minus 1 ng 1. And the answer will be 0 0.02. Now, for the denominator, 36 over mo ng 360, that is 0.1. So, matitira na lang as 0 0.02 divide mo ng 0 0.10 or 0 0.1. And the final answer will be 0 0.2. Again, for a rate, you have to convert it to percent. So, 0 0.2 times mo ng 100 and add the percent sign. So, that will be 20%. So, yung nag-deposit daw si Tosi ng $5,000 at naging 5100 to after 36 days, Magkano daw yung interest rate? Ordinary interest rate. So, ang sagot ay 20%. And that's the end of the lesson about finding the rate and future value simple interest. Ang next video natin will be about finding time naman, future value simple interest format pa rin. And if you would like to comment or suggest another metal language video or kung may assignment kayo, please comment down below. Again, this is James your math and language instructor. Please like and subscribe and also click the bell notification para updated kayo sa mga bagong math and language video natin. Alright, so I'll see you soon. Goodbye. Thank you.